quirk. Two fat guys named David still live before a dead studio audience. And they're still bored, people. Hi, I'm David Stater. I'm Dark Convoy. And welcome to another edition of Two Fat Guys Named Dave in the morning, Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Hi, how you doing? Okay, the first order we want business we would like to talk about today is Megan Fox has been fired from the set of Transformers 3. <laughs> you be! We should probably be upset of this. And were we your standard 18 to 19 year old male audience, maybe we would be. Yeah, they probably would be. But somehow, I don't know, I don't want to say that that girl's ugly, but she's too skinny. She's, she's too skinny. And let's face it, it's, it was kind of insulting. One of the very opening scenes of Revenge of the Fallen shows her posed seductively on a motorcycle, sticking her ass up for the camera. I mean, come on, Michael. She doesn't even have an ass. Yeah, you know. I don't get it. Oh, boy. And, you know, I tell you, they've allegedly replaced her now. I don't remember the girl's name. I saw some pictures, and just is real thin. Now, Michael Bay, this is the kind of girl you need in your movie. Pay attention. Right there. Uh, uh, look how sexy. Now, that's a whole lot of Rosie like ACDC was talking about. Okay? Now, that's a woman that can give me some loving. Seriously, I look at my, I look at Megan Fox and I look at this girl they had to replace her. Skeletor's sister. I mean, it, it, you, she's, it, she's you said it so well. You look at a girl like that and you, you almost want to have a sandwich for her. I see her picture and I want to eat a bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken. And four strawberry milkshakes. I can't Double afford thing. new pants. Get someone with me. Girl, if you need some money, I'll now, send you a dollar. I'm not going to say that skinny girls can't be attractive. But, Hi. you know, you can. Hi. But <coughs> Hollywood is quite fond of these real thin, thick looking things that, I mean, if they pull up their shirt, you can play the xylophone on their ribs and stuff, you know? Do, 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 do. Or no. I get a dollar, buy a burger. Buy a hamburger. But seriously, yes. girls, eat something. It's good to let some Hollywood producer tell you you weigh too much because I tell you what, if you can suck in the gut and the smallest, smallest, smallest size of pants that J.C. Penny wears falls off your waist, okay? Yeah, there's something wrong you with that. You owe yourself a trip to Burger King or two now. Jeez. Uh, I the really, next thing they need to get rid of is Michael Bay. Yes, you're right, Michael Bay. I want to bring in the producer that, that, that I want to bring in the guy that did 300. Now that guy can make up some battle movie, don't you think? Yeah, Let's yeah. put the giant robots in his hand. I let them battle to the death. And you know something? Battle I to would the like death. the Transformers to have actual Transformers faces. Yes. Yes, I don't want to see alien Transformers that look like aliens versus Predator. It doesn't do anything for me. Mm-hmm. Okay, the next box. order of business. The, the mystery box. box mentioned last week. Now, the box. You were supposed to guess what might be in this box. Yes. I mean, you did. None of so you know what? Nobody. None of you get the prize. Nobody. Whose really? fault is that? You're on. Yep. Gave you chance. Losers. Losers! Well, anyways. We're going to show you what was in the box. Okay? Because we're kind that way. You could have told us Skywarp was in the box and we would have accepted it. You could have told us Armada Super Mode Optimus Prime was in the box. You could have told us... What the hell is this? Some funky looking purple, gray, and orange guy. Yeah, this dude was in the box. You could have said this dude was in the box. You could have told us we had a PVC star scream in the box. Rodimus. You could have said Optimus Prime and a legless Soundwave was in the box, and we would have accepted that. There's other ones probably in there somewhere, you know. Yeah, there. Clone was in the box. You could have said the PVC City Commander was in the box. Optimus Prime, who lost his hand in battle, was in the box. Mm, he probably has an axe that goes there or something. Mm, no. This dude was in the box. This dude just lost his leg going out of the box almost. Any of this? Motorcycle seat? Black Arachne? Any of this? I love this. Said? There's even a Hero Clicks Vector Prime that was in the box. Green Tank dude was in the box. The battle scene of Devastator attacking Rodimus Prime and RC was in the box. In fact, I think there's probably a couple of them there. Fast food premium scourge. I mean, how often do you see one of these? What Optimus, Prime. Optimus Prime. Best um, Optimus Prime ever. Character. <laughs> well, he's not really a prime. Hmm. Best um, Optimus, though. Best Optimus. We also had the Hero Clicks Megatron. Megatron? There's all kinds of Megatron here. Yeah. 
why, look, I do believe it's another Optimus Primal yet. Megatron from the Armada. Um, Any of this would Whoever this guy is. He could have said it, whoever that guy is. No, no, we probably wouldn't have given you the prize for something that big, but you know. RC. RC. Fast food premium hot shot. Black and white Rodimus. And yet, um, an another one, Omnicon from the Gay Hero Plus. Okay, there's some more junk in the box, but we ain't gonna show it. Someone asked me in one of the forums that we're in whether or not this, what's the difference between a DC direct figure and a DC universe figure. And to tell you the truth, I've been wanting to know that as well. Well, it's easy for me. Easy, easy, easy. For those men in box collectors. <laughs> Set your toys free. They're not meant to be kept in a plastic prison. They open. This one has more articulation. It can do the splits. It can do the twist. And in some cases, it can do the Margarena. Hey, Margarena. <laughs> Best song ever. It's fun, people. Try it. That's it. There's no real difference. More articulation in this one. Arms can turn in and out at the muscles and at the wrists. This one just goes up and down. If people were, for example, to collect these for the monetary value, which one would you recommend? Well, go, deciding that this figure here goes for about very expensive prices for someone on the reason, I would recommend this one. But if you want to have fun and play with your toys, I would recommend this one. And after all, folks, yes. the toys were designed for to play with them and have fun. Yes. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're uh, running pretty well on time here, aren't we? Okay. Oh, oh. Do we have anything else to discuss this time? I think that's it. Other than we're, we are going to open another box next week. We are going to open another box. That was the Joker. He likes our show. And he'll be watching you too, so be good. So, I think that's pretty much it for this week. I guess I, next week we'll uh, come up with something different to talk about. I think we could talk about friends we know. And the telephone calls that we are getting about our show. Oh yeah, we had so we had a real disturbing one. Yes. Unfortunately, when I went to retrieve that one off of my computer, it went into orbit around Jupiter. Yes. So I'll have to retrieve my computer, but until next week. Remember folks, you could be a winner. It might be a loser. But you'll never be a booby. Never. Ever. I'm Dave Stater. I'm Dark Convoy. We are two fat guys named Dave. And we will see you again next week at eleven. Wait a minute, what the heck am I saying? On oh, Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Take care till then. Bye, folks. Beep.